hi. I'm going to go over uh, the database activities that you had to do for the um, 2012 exam. And in that case, you had two tables, airport and customer. And just to take a look at the table and how it looks like, you open it like this in big, and you can see that it's 29 records in total. Now what you had to do for the first task, that was to create a data entry form for the customer table. And it gives you what you must do, which is have a suitable title, be clear and easy to use, include a drop-down list for at least one field. Now to make sure we have a drop-down list, what we can do straight away is go to the design view. We see that it has ID as a primary key, so it's unique to each customer, just like it says here. You got the title, initial, first name, last name, phone number, destination, and date. Now this would be the fir perfect um, drop-down list, and to do it in an easy manner, we can use this text field or the data type field here. We select lookup wizard, and you can type in the values, but then you must check what it had in the table first. So we go back to the view. Okay, we'll save it. We didn't do much. Now what does it have here? Title. It's got Mr. and Miss. And that's the only two that it has. So we know how to do it now. We select Lookup Wizard. We select Yes. We're going to type the values that we want. We press Next. Here we type them in. So it's Mr. and Miss. Select Next. Uh, this is fine and finish okay what happens now if we go to the view we click yes we want to save it now if we click the title we can see that it's already added the drop down list so now we can actually start doing our form because we have included a drop down list for at least one field now, to be able to create a form, we still always close what we have open. You see there are two X's here, but you choose the lower one. So you're going to close the window. Now you go to create, because here's where you create a form, and we're going to choose more forms because we want the form wizard, because it's easier and quicker. Now we're supposed to do a table from the customer, so this is the correct one. Now instead of clicking one for each field, we're going to choose this button here and everything goes over. We press next and it's good to just have the default layout. Then we press next again. Now you can see if you choose different styles how they look like. And the one that was chosen is fine. We press next. What title do you want for your form? Now this was a must, as it said, have a suitable title. What can be a suitable title for a database, um, for a customer form? As they say, um, it's to enter data to a form, so a perfect name would be customer entry form. Customer entry form and open the form to view or enter. No, we're going to modify the form's design. So then we click finish. Double click here to open it in big. Now you've got the title, just like it's supposed to be, a suitable title. I'm going to drag this up. I can't because first of all, this has to be up here. And now I can easily drag it up. Okay. Then it tells you that everything has to be clear and easy to use. Now when you have a form, you don't want these shortenings of the words. So you're going to create and have it all in capital letters. So I put on caps lock, last name, space. Dest would be destination. And what more? F name would be first space name. Okay, here you can see that it's got too much space between. 
So what I can do is hold control, no, sorry, I hold shift, and then I can select all the fields. At so they're all selected. Now what I do is I drag this closer to the titles, and this I don't change because this is coming from the um, table itself, the information, and we're not going to change anything there. I can drag this a little bit down and as we're not asked for a form footer I'm just going to get rid of it again like this and as we have good space here now it tell it told you to have it easy to use now what they mean is to add buttons that can help you create another record delete a record and go to the next record so an easy way to do that is just to drag that button, drag here to form it on the field, and let me see what would be the best one to start with. Add a new record, because it's a form, you're going to enter new customer, so it would be good to have that button first. So we choose this one, next, I would like to just have the text like it comes up here, select next. And it's always good to tell the name, I had it on caps lock, I'll take that off now, add record. This is just a name for us to have if we're going to do something with this button later on. Okay, now I'm going to add a new one. I'm just going to put it in here. This could be a delete or go to next record. Let's go to next record first. So that would be this one. Next, have it as text, so it's all the same and name it and finish okay now we needed another one or we need another one that could be delete record so that would be not in navigation but operations delete record next have the same text next and delete could be your fine name finish Okay, now you've got all these buttons. Now I think the color is a little bit too light. So we go here to four color and we can change it to text black. And then of course we'll do it for the same. Do it the same for all of them. Click here, here, and text black. Now, as you can see, the form also this f the fields here are a little bit too big so you can click and drag to select it and also make it smaller but we have to think about the names some names could be longer than others so more or less like this and then we can just click go over to the corner to move it and keep it in the same line you can also select them like before by holding shift down at the same time and arrange and here it's got some features like you can have it the same size to the shortest probably to the widest in this case and now they're all the same size and then there are some features you can also use here to make it look perfect now the form is ready and with all the criteria that was asked for and then they ask us to display the form in data entry view so we're gonna go where we go to home we click on view and this is how the person that enters the new customer record will see it but to print screen it I advise you to click this button here and then drag this so it fits exactly now what you did with these buttons I mean you can do the same thing down here you can go to the next record you can go to the last record and we could have created a button here for that but as they ask for a simple form or easy to use then always think about adding these buttons here now you can see that this works perfectly let's say that we're going to delete this record it tells me first so I'm going to say no uh, we can add a record then it clears everything, clears, clears the form and then if we want to go to the next record we don't have ma more because we're on the 30th so we go back if we go to the first one we use next record goes to the second, third 
So everything is done and now you would press the print screen on the keyboard and that would be it for the first task. So for the second task it says um, a customer is to be added to the database and then it says the details and enter this data into the customer table. So now since you've already done the form close it, yes save it and remember you do then FRM and then write customer, that would be a good name for it, just to keep it in case the print screen didn't work. Okay, so I'm not going to save this at this stage, but if you're going to enter information to the table, the best thing to do is press this button here, new blank record, you go to the first field and you start entering as they ask you to. Just type in, have cap locks on, because you can see that it's in capital letters, and carry on typing. Then the next task was to sort the customer table in ascending order of date. That's easy. We go to the customer table, which we are in already, and we want the date, so we select the column. We select here ascending order, and that's it. Now you have to print screen this, so as it is now, you could move this by clicking this button. Now you just press print screen and make sure when you print screen that you can see the amount of records in your table.